But this next one really blew my mind. This is illegal. Welcome to another Thrift Hunt. I'm your host and Hunter WBK. What I have here in my hand is a hand knit. At least I think it's hand knit. It might be crocheted. If you know, please let me know in the comments. Giant thing for a circular dining table, I think. I'm pretty sure it could be a blanket, but I think it is uh, meant more for display. I don't know. It's very big, so is it too big for a dining table? Honestly, the reason I'm buying this is because, first of all, it's only two or three bucks. Second of all, uh, there is demand for this kind of design of stuff. Again, maybe it's too big for a dining table centerpiece, but anything that takes a lot of time and effort and skill, I can certainly sell online for a decent profit. That's what I'm doing here, buying things to make some moolah. Yeah, three bucks. I also bought this Andrew Mark down jacket. I love selling down jackets. They are very easy sales. They are good products. I should get about 30 bucks for that one. I paid $6 for it in the store. Here's one for the big boys, a triple XL Michael Vick Reebok on field jersey. No cracking on the number, no rips, no tears. Michael Vick might be a very polarizing player, but people who like him, like him a lot. And this triple XL size is gonna go for really good money. An XL goes for about 50, 60 bucks. Triple XL, I think I can get about 70 bucks for it. This is a awesome shirt. I could not figure out what R&B meant for like, I don't know, 15 seconds. Looked it up, Ringling Brothers. That's awesome. Clown Stuff has a really dedicated buyer base. Single stitch, vintage t-shirt, nothing even close like this for sale. I saw right in the sleeve, Ringling Brothers uh, and Barnum and Bailey. I think this is from St. Petersburg, Florida or around there they have like a school there or that's where the clown school is. I think, could be wrong. I'm assuming I can get at least 40 bucks for that. I don't know though. If you've been watching the Thrift Hunt series, you know I love buying and selling art. This piece caught my eye. It is absolutely gorgeous, well done, professionally made. I flipped it over and on the back, I actually saw the artist's website. Uh, you can look at there, it says, uh, let's see, Ceramic Case Merino or Min Minario. Looked it up online and it really is a professional setup. They sell some enormous vases. This is only a small little piece of tile ceramic art. Could not figure out what it was going for. Um, I think I have, you know, obviously I can do some more research. I'm not going to spend half an hour in the store when I can do it at home on my own time. This website does go into English as well. So I'm going to have some fun going through this. I just saw, you know, after I've been doing this for a few weeks, I mean, I've been buying and selling art for a long time, but doing it in thrift stores and really trying to focus on that, you begin to see, uh, how much quality sticks out from the rest of everything else. And this certainly was quality, really, really well made. The frame looks great. I don't know how I'm going to price it, maybe 50 bucks, maybe a hundred bucks. I doubt it's worth more than that, but you never know uh, if this guy has a bigger following than I've noticed. This is kind of a weird thing I'm going to sell. It's a squirrel buster bird feeder. So squirrels can't get in that little metal dangling bit that actually goes on whatever you hang it on. So the squirrels cannot climb down. New, these go for about 50 bucks, 60 bucks, not a lot for sale that are used. Uh, it did not smell bad to me. It didn't look gross. If I can't sell it, I will just keep this. But it does appear as if some used ones are going for about $30, $40, $50, $50 right around that range. Um, why not? It's 6 bucks in the store. Today was a weird one because I'm buying Squirrel Busters and I'm passing on Orvis Vest. They want 20 bucks. This is a brand new with tags Orvis Vest. I bet it costs like 60 bucks in the store, but on eBay, it goes for about 30 bucks. So for 20 bucks, that's just really not worth it. Don't worry though, I had some amazing finds, especially in the book section. This book right here. Unwanted Mexican Americans in the Great Depression. Kind of a, a heavy topic. Uh, this book goes for like 90 bucks though. Stuff like this, things you, that don't get reproduced, things that are out of print, discontinued, things that have uh, accounts and images and maps that you can't just get online, those go for really good money. And right here, the lowest one is 90 bucks. 
a different earlier edition, 135 I'll price this at like $78, $79, get in below the market, and I think it'll sell pretty fast. Unfortunately, it appears someone who had an interest in this kind of literature and nonfiction and fiction writing may have died and their things all got donated, but I'm happy to pass on these works of literature. All this stuff, I'll either lot it up and sell by genre, say like Latino literature or Chicano, uh, and then some of the things I will sell individually, like that book Chicano Manifesto goes for about 25 bucks. Here's some more books I'll lot up. The author is Daphne Demure, Demauer? Daphne DeMauer. I ended up finding these three books. Uh, later on, I'll show you some more I found. This author has a, uh, a good fan base. I should get about five, six, seven, eight dollars per book, depending on what they are, what year they are, if I can get a full set. Uh, I'm only paying 50 cents per book here. I bought a lot of books. I'm not going to show them all to you, uh, but just so you get an idea of what I'm buying, things that have uh, kind of an esoteric quality to them like this one fortune tellers ma jong it's 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 i don't believe in this stuff but someone does and they're gonna pay like 50 bucks on ebay for this book i know that sounds crazy but they will here's some more of the uh let's see what's the the, the author's name is bodie thone i can't say it right you know that doesn't matter i'm not here trying to say the author's name's right i'm just showing you that yeah if you found four or five books from a certain author come back a few days later and look for the whole set i bought all of these there's the other daphne de maurer de maurier books but these bodie books i picked up like five or six on friday didn't have a complete set now they've all been put in the shelf i'm able to buy a complete set here's an interesting thing this is a mcdonald's toy uh, that's an Aladdin genie. I thought it'd be worth more. It's worth like nine bucks. But this McDonald's toy, McDonald's Shrek, I guess that's from Shrek 3 probably. Two bucks in store. Only goes for about $15 online. But what I'll do is I'll make a video on my channel called Demo Everything showing how this toy works, the things it kind of says. And so I'll be able to get some passive income off it that way as well as selling it for like a $10 profit. It's always a treat to find some new in box toys from the early 2000s. This one from Tiger Bullseye. What's it called? I moved it too fast. Bullseye Blast? Bullseye Ball. Uh, you toss the little metal balls on a trampoline and it goes into like a skee ball type setup. I remember these commercials vividly from when I was younger. Ten bucks in store. It actually is new. It's sealed. The tape has not been removed. Uh, on eBay, it goes for about 50 bucks new. But I thought, you know, if it goes for 50 bucks on eBay, what's it go for on Amazon? I looked it up. I think I can get about 100 bucks with an Amazon. Now, here is the, the trick, though. Can I sell it as new on Amazon? Because there is some box wear. So I think because of what's going on, I'll list it like new on Amazon, new on eBay. Uh, that'll be the more transparent way. But I'm going to try and get 100 bucks for it on both websites. We'll see what happens. Scooching over to check out the glass. This caught my eye immediately. This tray, or it's not a tray, it's a push cart. This is an Indiana glass hen on a nest candy jar, I think. I noticed these go for pretty good money when I was doing some research last week. I found this one. Some sell for 50 bucks. I'd say the average price is like 25 to 35 bucks. I will price mine at 50 on the high end of the market. It is in pristine condition. No chips, no nothing. I think if I get a good picture of it, if I cross post on Etsy, uh, maybe I make my own website for it. I'm working on this to sell some like cool antique stuff. I do believe I can get 50 bucks for it. I saw some decanters. These just look really neat to me. I don't know what they're for. That sticker says made in Romania. I don't know if they're for perfume, maybe small amounts of liquor. This, I think, is American Brilliant, but I am such a novice. If you know, please, please, please tell me. I looked them up using uh, either eBay or Google Lens, and I think I found some similar Made in Romania decanters, same size. They had a similar top stopper on it. I think I can get 25 bucks for that. This one is much more of a mystery to me. I do not know what that pattern is, but it's so intricate. I love how it looks. There's no chips. The stopper is a giant crystal ball. I was able to find some markings on the neck, uh, and I believe those markings said Prescott or Prescut. I'm not sure if it's one word or two words. 
Uh, I looked it up on eBay, and I think I found a identical decanter. I don't know. I have to do more research, but it looks like it's from like the late 1800s. Is that that's crazy? If it's true, it is not a foot tall. It's smaller than that, but it might be worth like $35. I don't know. I really don't know. I love how it looks, and I just want to learn more about this. Maybe it's worth less. Maybe it's worth more. If you know anything about this, please, please, please tell me in the comments. I don't sell a lot of clothing. I'm very picky about it, but what I do often sell is lots of the same shirt, same style shirt. Here are five Carhartt XL original fits. I'm not sure if you know, Carhartt had a recent vaccine thing with their employees and a bunch of people did not like it. So they either burnt their clothes or donated them. Uh, more power to them. I don't really care. But what I do care about is that, yes, there are still tons of people who will buy Carhartt shirts. Five of them. I paid about four bucks a piece. I should be able to get a hundred bucks for the five of them. Uh, and I think that's on the low end, quite honest. I found some more cool glass art. This is a ashtray, handmade. Got some cool bubbles in there. Uh, I think it's, I don't know if it's blown or not. I can't tell if it was made to be flat, if any air came in there or not. I would assume so because the bubbles are there. Kind of uneven. I don't like that the most about it. Really cool color. Only three bucks in the store. This is what I think goes for like 25 bucks. I'm going to buy it just to sell, but I don't think it's like, even close to a higher end piece of handmade uh, glass art or utilitarian glass. Here's some silverware. It's not silverware. It's cutlery. It's flatware. Uh, it's made in Japan. Stainless has a rose on there. That's why I looked it up on eBay. Just those keywords. And I was able to find some exact comps. And it goes for a lot of money. I'm not sure what the brand is. I don't know. But this same pattern, the rose pattern, eight forks goes for 40 bucks. That's pre-owned. Uh, larger sets go for more money. There were two sets, I'm guessing 40 or 50 individual pieces of flatware in each bag. I don't know, I'll count later. I'm gonna shoot to get at least two bucks per unit. Here's a Ray Dunn stainless steel tumbler. No existing listings on eBay. Uh, a few on Mercari for about 30 bucks plus shipping. I'm gonna list 50 bucks on eBay. I'll see what happens, maybe no one bites, maybe someone does, because again, there are no comps, no existing listings. Some more, not weird Ray Dunn stuff, but things I don't normally see in thrift stores. This is a Ray Dunn food container for leftovers, says eat. This comes in a set of three, I believe. Uh, yeah, eat, eat, leftovers, maybe not three. Uh, it's not worth more than 10 bucks, so it is kind of cool. Uh, but again, not worth reselling, at least for a profit. Then I went over to the art section and I found some pretty crazy stuff. This is a newspaper clipping. Those can be worth some money. This one doesn't have the right subject matter. Uh, 1963, so it's a reprint of an old news story. I could probably get 15 bucks for this. It's about helicopters. It's very niche. But this next one really blew my mind this is illegal you can see some guy just took the photograph signed it but the eiffel tower at night the lighting structure you cannot take a photograph of that uh, and i'm going to read this to you the eiffel tower's lighting and sparkling lights are protected by copyright so professional use and that photograph was professional use they're trying to sell it the artist signed it uh, requires prior authorization and may be subject to a fee that is from the Eiffel Tower's official website. I also bought a chair right there. It's an Ikea chair. It was 20 bucks in the store, 200 bucks in Ikea. It's, I'm not gonna sell it. Maybe I'll make a video about showing how I'm gonna clean it up, but I'm not gonna sell it. My car is packed full, tons of great stuff. I spent $170. I think I'll make like over 600 pretty easily. It's gonna take a while, but it's not gonna be a lot of work. Nothing here takes too much time. Thanks for watching. If you're new, please subscribe, watch the Thrift Hunt playlist, and today's secret message is the letter, I don't remember. I was spelling something out. Just guess, if you know what I was spelling out, now's the time to guess. We are done with this series of secret messages because quite frankly, I have forgotten what I was, what the letters were. Not what I was saying, but what the letters were.